Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's the fact is that you know now they're touting that you know 112 billion dollars was assigned to that to that income support. Well, you know, 100 million dollars was given to orphan wealth management that actually creates 500 jobs. Like, are you joking? Mm-hmm. That's a cost of 200 thousand dollars per job. You could have re- rerouted that money and, and continued the income support for longer. Uh, good point there. Another hundred thousand people. Yeah, uh, Tyler, the government has made quite a big deal of bringing back this uh, bits bits and pieces program. Uh, wh- what do you think of that? They're kind of holding this up as like a, a bright kind of shiny moment in this COVID crisis. I, I think you know there are some wins there um, for sure. I, I think I think they're overwhelmed. They, they didn't. I think they underestimated the complexity and the impact of this. And it seems to be changing every couple of days and realizing that, oh, the original 100 million or 100 billion now has to get doubled. And it's it's just overwhelming. And I think the key is people just can't panic. Like there's going to be help coming. And I think everybody just needs to help each other this time. Um, Najib nailed it. You know, the, the CEO of RBC came out today and said they need to start looking at loan forgiveness, not deferrals. And that's just the reality of where we're at. If we're preventing people from going to work who, under regular circumstances, could be working, we have to do something to help them. And deferrals will not help the problem. They will not make the problem go away. It'll just make it, um, you know, slide it down the scale and they'll have to deal with it later. And that's just, that's not acceptable. So yeah, I all, think we just can't all panic. Seeing, all we're seeing is a continual, like, pushing up. You know, municipal government says we're waiting for the the province to do something. The province says we're waiting for the feds to do something. I'm mm-hmm, pretty yeah. sure that both our municipal and provincial governments have their own uh, areas of purview, like, especially, like, utilities deferral. I, I haven't heard any conversation about utility forgiveness. I mean, I don't understand why mm-hmm. that's a deferral conversation at all when Edmonton owns 100% of EPCOR. Well, and I think when somebody does that, it's, it, you know, it's like a, it's who's going to blink first. Once that mm-hmm. happens, it's going to be a cascading effect. Everything will go. And I think they're careful. They're just, they're, they're, they want to be very careful about which programs that they're going to actually forgive. 